Virgo, hi. So uh, this is going to be a reading for June 8th through the 15th. Whoops. And um, I'll take a look into your recent past, your current energies, and your immediate future. And then I'll uh, close it off with a couple of cards from the universe for you. And these are general readings, so they may not resonate for all of you. If they do, there is an extended at the end of the video. You can check it out in the description box below if you want. Uh, what else? That's it. <laughs> well, you know the drill. Roles can be reversed. It applies to sun, moon, rising, whichever kind of placement you want. I'm, I'm really starting to get really annoyed by that question for some reason. Who came up with that? It's for sun, moon, rising. The intent, I think, for most of us is, given that these are general, for the messages to go to whoever watches the videos. So, sun, moon, rising, okay. It's for Pluto. It's for your Pluto placement. <laughs> I don't know. Whatever. Wow. I'm having a, a little thing with myself right now, so don't mind me. Do your thing. I'll do mine. All right, Virgo. Uh, I knew that. Let's see. <clears throat> Ooh, okay, so the overall energy for the reading, the Five of Swords. Uh, interesting. So this talks about deception. This talks about a lot of things. Manipulation, deception, sabotage, things like that. And I usually, um, not usually, but most of the times I feel it like self-saboteur or self-deception and things like that. Like it's in regards to you more than anybody else. But um, we'll see. We'll see what that is. Uh, leaves the door open for many things. Um, in your recent past, you get the Eight of Wands, the Four of Wands, and the Ace of Pentacles. Interesting. This looks like a marriage proposal or uh, restore. Let's let's uh, rebuild our connection. Let's do something new. Let's do something drastic. Let's change something here for the better in this connection. You know. Um, it does have communication behind it, so I see talk about it. Let's try to fix it. Let's get it to the next level and things like that. Hmm. Um, in your current situation, though, you get the Five of Cups, the King of Wands, and the Queen of Pentacles. There you are here. There's somebody that's attached to you here. And there's a lot of sadness between the two of you. What the hell happened? um you know from there to here uh so yeah there's a lot of sadness between you and somebody else here i see the sadness more attached to your person so we'll see we'll see what that is uh in your immediate future you get the seven of cups the nine of cups and the nine of swords there's plenty of options out there for you and you know that but neither of them are making you happy you know um kind of looks like that Let's clarify. I want to clarify. Let's do this uh, Five of Swords. The Six of Swords, the King of Cups, and the Seven of Wands. No more deception. So somebody is kind of just stepping into their emotions, how they truly feel. And they truly feel they love somebody. There's a lot of love there for somebody. And they're like, I'm not going to lie myself about that anymore. You know, I'm not going to tell myself that I don't feel that because I feel it. So I'm just going to stand up for it and fight for it. So that could be you. That could be your person. No more deceptive energies. Um, let's see this Four of Wands in the recent past. Wow. 
the magician, the Ten of Cups, and the Queen of Wands. This is a perfectly happy marriage here. This is somebody being happy like crazy. Well, it doesn't have to be a marriage, but it comes out like that. Like, this was a connection that, even if it wasn't a marriage, it still felt like it. Like, happiness, like, you couldn't conceive the fact that this is not going to last forever. That's the kind of energy that's in your past here. So I'm just going to leave this here because that's a pretty happy and confident and very good energy there in the past. I feel like things were really, really good in there. Let's, uh, let's step to the current situation here. Let's do the Five of Cups. The Knight of Pentacles, the Six of Pentacles, and the Seven of Swords. Somebody's walking away, or somebody doesn't want to participate in maintaining this happiness or this stability, this equal give and take, and somebody's not putting in the effort anymore. And that creates a lot of sadness, of course. It could be that, yeah, in the past everything was balanced, everything was great, and now the energy of the other person feels like they're detaching, or something's happening that's creating a lot of... Mm, this is not what I thought it was kind of situation, you know, because somebody has their back turned and it could be them, could be you. Let's clarify the Knight of Wands. The Four of Cups, the Star, and the Hermit. This person is doing a lot of inner thinking about what it is that they truly want. What's that star they want to make a wish upon? And they're not figuring out. Um, this is, I feel like this is your person. Um, Sitting in thought here, sitting in discontent, sitting in my life sucks and I don't know why. Uh, it's because they can't figure out what they want, what they truly want. They're trying to, but not there yet. Uh, let's clarify the Queen of Pentacles. The Queen of Pentacles again, the Three of Pentacles, and the Moon. You may be thinking that this person wants somebody else or something else. Uh, there's something, there's some sort of doubt, some sort of suspicion going on with you because of their energy. Um, that feels like they pulled away. And you're starting to believe that it may be something, possibly something in regards to their work. Something going on there. There's something and you're not telling them. There's something you're suspecting, but don't do that. That's just your assumptions is going to create a whole lot of mess. There's already a little bit of a mess here with this person not figuring out what they want. The more you assume stuff, the more you're going to create stuff in between the two of you. And you don't need that because it's already there. Um, <clears throat> Let me clarify the seven of cups. Seems like a midlife crisis of some sort, you know, um, on somebody's part here. For the Seven of Cups, you get the Four of Pentacles, the Eight of Wands, and the Seven of Cups again. Somebody wants more options. Somebody wants to explore. Somebody wants to. So, so if it's this person that is all up in their head, not knowing what's going on with them, not knowing what they want, they might have the tendency to need to explore other things so that they can figure out what they want. It doesn't mean other people, other relationships, other, you know, it could for some of you come out as that, but um, this person wants more, not even freedom, because they don't want to give you up. They want more expanded territory to figure out what it is that they want. 
I feel for them because I feel the energy and it sucks. It's like you're stuck in something and you're like, where do I go from here? Because I don't know, you know? Uh, could be you, by the way. Because you appear here attached to the star, your energy here, the hermit, appears attached to the star. And this person is trying to figure out, is this what I truly want? You know? Let me clarify the Nine of Cups. The Wheel of Fortune, the Emperor, and the Ace of Cups. Yeah, things are going to change. This person is going to realize that they want this with you. Um... They need a little bit of a space, energetic space on your part. So if you are here, assuming the worst that's happening with this person, instead of creating that space for them, you're going to push them towards who knows what. Uh, not you, your energy. You know, it's going to create that energy for them to be like, oh, you expect me to do that? Okay, I'll do that. You know, so try to hold off from assumptions. And stuff like that because it's gonna drive this person into something else they just need some time and space to figure things out and when that's allowed and when that's gonna happen this person is gonna figure out that it's you um let's clarify the nine of swords the four of swords the high priestess and the queen of cups yeah yeah, it's just a period of time where um, it's going to be painful for you to do that, to watch all that happening and to go through all of that. Uh, but there's going to be healing here and there's going to be as long as you're in tune with your energy and with yourself. You know that at the end of the day, there's a lot of love here, you know, and it's going to come back together in, a, in this beautiful place that it was in the past here. So it's just a, it's just a need for space here on somebody's part um let's uh pull some cards from the universe the page of wands the ace of swords and the ten of wands uh somebody's getting anxious somebody's getting impulsive somebody's getting like but i want this and i feel it and i'm gonna go for it because i feel it so intense that's gonna mess things up you know, if that's you and you're eager to be in this person's presence and things like that, again, the the best thing that you could possibly do right now is step away from assumptions and give them space. If that's the story that the two of you are going through. Because if you do this, look what's coming. If you're like, I don't give a fuck, I uh, feel that I need to be in their presence and I need to be there and I need to show them that I'm there and blah, 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 you know? So that's what I have for you, Virgo. I hope this helped and I'll see you next time.